a lot of problems homeowners have are skunks. And catching a skunk is pretty simple. It's the same setup you'd use for a coon or a possum. So if you know how to catch a coon, you can catch a skunk. Only one slight difference. If you're not properly prepared, then you throw your clothes away. So what you do with a skunk is you set up your trap the normal way as you would a raccoon. Put your bait in the back, middle, front. Once again, you can use sardines, fish oil, and you'd set it up you know, where you're seeing them. Skunks, terrestrial species, you're not going to be finding them in trees, so most likely if you find a skunk, it's going, if you have a conventional foundation, which is a house built up on blocks, they're going to be living up under the house. Look for holes, and if you can find that, you set the trap right next to the hole with just a slight scent. That way, as soon as he comes out, he's going into it. You don't want to use a lot of scent because you don't want to attract all the coons and possums that are going to come in. But the thing about a skunk is they spray when they get nervous, scared, feel like they're going to get attacked. So you would use a burlap sack, and this is not the recommended one to use because, well, you can see through it. That means skunk scent can go through it. But you can use an old blanket, burlap sack. You want to totally cover the trap. For make-believe land, make-believe we can't see through this. And if you do have a skunk in there, see the trap door shut, look from a distance. Don't walk straight up to it because you don't want to get it nervous. Get back, look, if he's in there, you approach the trap from the backside, assuming this is covered totally, backside's covered. You would approach it from the backside, and this isn't set up good, but you would have a hole where this could go through. And with it totally covered, you ease it up, facing it away to where the skunk cannot see you because he can't see through the back. You slowly and gingerly walk it to where you're going to euthanize it. Ease it in the back of a truck and do what you need to do. Now, if something happens and he sprays you, there's some tricks. And the trick I learned when I got sprayed is uh, I use muscadines. First thing about skunk, their scent is a base. So the, all the old wives' tales of using tomato juice, lemon juice, lime juice, it's true because it's an acid. You offset it to make a neutral compound. So what I did when I got sprayed in the woods is I found a whole bunch of muscadines and smushed them all up, put them all over my clothes while I was sprayed. The smell went away. And one mistake I did do is I got some water on my hand where I had a little bit of scent and it just makes the scent four or five times worse because that water, it, it combines with that base and it just, it's horrible. You didn't even want to get near my truck. But as soon as I found muscadines, any fruit, anything with an acid base, brush it up, put it all over you and that should get rid of most of the scent. You're still going to have some. There's a little bit of residual, but it's not going to be like it was. So, you know, catching a skunk's just like catching a, a coon or a possum, but being that the home range is smaller and they're going to be on the ground, you can probably find out where they're coming from. Stick a trap around there. You know, I'd probably stick four or five. Slight scent, set up just like a coon, cover them up, and that, it may or may not catch it. Uh, most likely it will, but skunks are pretty smart. They get pretty nervous going into these things, so it might take a few days, but that's about the best method or, or trick to catch a skunk.